Hello and welcome to Go For Gold's podcast. My name is Karen Rodemeyer and I do the fundraising and communications for Go For Gold Education to Employment here in South Africa. Go For Gold is an MPO and registered public benefit organization established in 1999 when we noticed that there were not enough technical graduates of color coming into technical industries, namely the construction sector. We then sought out solutions for the pitfalls that led to the shortage of technical black graduates and introduced the solutions into four phases. Phase one, which we have recently rebranded to represent exactly what our solution involves, we've rebranded it to the enhanced education. This is for grade 10, 11 and 12 students who are taking pure maths and science and wish to achieve that extremely sought after bachelor pass and at the end of grade 12. Once our students complete grade 12, they move on to phase two, which has been rebranded to the Workplace Learning Program. Here, students work on site at go for gold partner companies in an effort to ignite their passion to really align with a, a career that they want to pursue. Phase three is the high, um, tertiary phase, so we've rebranded it to the higher education name. And there, Go for Gold and our partners support our students in their multiple years of study in the form of bursaries and mentoring. And phase four is our alumni phase. That is where our graduates join our alumni program and are entering the world of work, also with already a year of experience under their belt, which they accrued in the workplace learning year. But today's podcast is about a student zone. Here I highlight the interview that I had with um, Zachary Peterson. He matriculated last year and he's, uh, he's currently doing a workplace learning program placement at Stephanie Stocks. We really hope that you enjoy the interview with this young man. I know I certainly did and I believe his future is beautifully bright and will be a great success in future. Enjoy the podcast. I wanted to find out where, when did you join Go for Gold? Um, in grade 12 last year. Grade 12 last year, okay. Had you heard of Go for Gold before uh, um, you no. saw our presentation? Is it? No, no. Okay, and um, can you remember who presented to you? No one really presented it to me. Uh -huh. um, my teacher gave like forms out to some learners in the class. Okay. And then I heard him talking about it. So I was like, oh, well, what is this? I oh. just want to know because it sounds interesting. Yeah. We were talking about the engineering and the cold environment and stuff like that. You hold it. So then, I, from there, I went to go do my own re research and went onto the company website of go for gold Oh, yeah? And then from there, I registered and went through the whole process. Okay, in. that's awesome. Okay, that's great. So, because some, you know, we, uh, you're aware that some kids start with us in grade eleven. Yes, I was yeah. aware of that. It's okay, like, good. Wow. <laughs> and tell me, did the maths and science help you? Yeah, in a way, but yeah, my my it was on my role that was I did bad, but <laughs> <laughs> but your teachers and that um you, your guys have nice teachers. Is it? Yeah. Is it? And did, did you feel that it did enhance? Because, I mean, grade 12 is difficult. Yeah. Did, did the maths and science help in any way? In the, do you think you would have done worse, put it that way? <laughs> yes. I, I, <laughs> to be honest, I think I would have definitely done worse without the help of Copper Gold. Mm. So I am very great, grateful for that. Okay. And I thank you guys for that. Oh, nice, so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Man. And the leadership development, have you ever experienced anything like that before? No, um, I've learned a lot about myself through the leadership development, uh -huh. like things that I can work on oh. and things that I already um, have oh, yes. within myself. Oh, good. So, yeah. So, um, would you say it's a good boost to self-awareness? Yes. Okay. Did you, you hear that inner voice differently now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. And and your, um, you, know, you, you joined us just after COVID, so the, the holiday program... Um, did you enjoy the holiday programs? They were a bit different to the 2020 yeah. one. Yeah. But um, where did you go on the holiday program? Um, I can remember we went to, where was it? Like up the, not Newlands. There was like a forest. Oh, yes. 
Oh, Newlands Forest, was that with Roots to Residence? Yes. Yes, yes we learn about the impacts of construction yeah, on, on the environment. On the environment. Yes, yeah. oh, and okay. we learned about the embankments opening up and the rivers taking its own part and things like that. Oh, nice, nice. And do you think of that now working out here in the bush? <laughs> yeah, it's actually a, a part, yeah. Mm. So we did um, monopoles, or okay, that's, it's like long steel structures, mm. but in in the ground we built um concrete bases so but with that there was like there was already a, a river like not the river so to say but yeah a river flowing through that area so we had to basically push like make a make like change the route of the oh. river to go around so it doesn't affect the water stuff. natural water supply yeah. amazing so that actually helped you with roots yeah. to resilience. It's so brilliant. I had an understanding of that. Oh, life. fantastic! And nice. nice. <laughs> and what's your? How's the transition been from school life to being a, a working adult? I'm not gonna lie, it's a big transition. <laughs> Very big, right? Because I I know last year in school is not so much okay. There is a lot expected of you, mm-hmm. but once you become a working individual, yeah. <laughs> the things that are put on you is really like a lot and you need to be a certain type of person to withstand it even especially on the construction is in the it, construction field yeah is it why do you say that is it because i've done stuff i've i've never done before oh, yeah. like manual labor sometimes oh is it <laughs> so I'm like, wow, I never did. like my father wouldn't allow me to go eat the ammo in the trenches i'm at yeah yeah, yeah. Levels. okay so but in that way also i've learned a lot is it? so i would say i'm like a handyman now oh, <laughs> so really? say, okay. because Good. from that i i take on my own task at, at home also with yeah. the hammers and things like oh that. now you're more confident in that too yeah okay that's good well, that's a lifelong skill. You're going to be working on your own house for a long time in the future. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's nice, man. And um, and uh, what what um, kind of career were you interested in, in in matric versus what you interested in now? Has it changed or is it the same? It's in, in matric. I, I because it's matric and you finish school. I I was like had a lot of options ahead of me. Yeah. But then I, I focused myself and I said I want to go into engineering in the construction field. Okay. So now I am very focused on that. It's yeah. my aim. Okay. And yeah. And what type of engineering? The civil. Yeah. Not the civil. Which one? So you, you get building and construction. Yes. So it's just that. Yeah. Okay, nice. Now, okay, that's okay. Now, yeah. then at least now you know. Yeah. And you and you've at least got the rest of this year. To, to actually still see some more, you yeah. know. Um, are you going to be on this site the entire year? Oh, uh, no. After, after this site, I'm yeah. going to a data center in, I think it's not in, in Plumstead site. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. And can you tell me what they are doing at this site? I know that some of the stuff was confidential, so don't mention that. Mm. But, um, you know, the, the like, are they building, I see there's a lot of digging in the ground. What is all of that for? So the trenching, the trenches are for the cables. Okay. So what this is, this is a, they call it a cloud and a magnetic. The cloud is basically, okay, so from the magnetic, there's, there's power lines running over here, right? Yes. So we're cutting into the power lines, and then the power lines are going into that magnetic, which is a massive structure, which um, basically, like, controls the high kilowatts and voltages oh, wow. and then from there goes into the cables which is like thick cables i don't know how thick they are though, sorry oh, yes, <laughs> and then so it goes in those cables go from the magnetic side all the way from there down here to this cloud where then all that um, power is in transformed things 132 kv to 11 KV, which then goes from here into the building, which is in front of us. Wow. I can't say what. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's amazing. I mean, can you imagine how many technical professionals are actually on this site? Yeah, it's um, every day there's new people. Amazing. You know, it yeah. sounds like a very um, high-tech, high-end uh, job. Yeah, it is. No, that's amazing. Are you excited for what other sites you might encounter in your career? 
the next one with the dot data center i was like the one i'm going to oh, i'm yeah. excited for that is it why why that's about so a data center is like everything you do like your bank account details all those those things are would be placed into the data center oh wow so everything is in that system they call it dot dot walls yes that and that's like a very you have to everything that happens there is controlled like the temperature in the room yes it's very yeah. high tech very yeah high there's tech. also one in dana fontaine yeah where they keep all the data yeah it's amazing yeah, it's eh? yeah so i wonder where else it might lead you and then you might ignite another passion um, along the way and um have you started applying for bursaries yet um no is it okay you're keeping an eye though hey yeah, you must I'm have probably trying. i'm sure that our office is going to be saying to you oh is that free? you mm-hmm. need to come talk to us because you know go for gold helps you yeah um get a bursary so that's mm-hmm. um quite nice but it's also what we always say in the hr forum because mm-hmm. as you know go for gold's got a um a, a, a forum that comprises of all our partner companies human resource managers and um yeah, they always um, they're always looking out. They use this year to identify talent mm-hmm. of, of go for gold talent. Mm-hmm. So if you really do well on site, it will be a, in good favor that the foreman who or whoever hands in your report. performance report, mm-hmm. you know, will recommend you or not. So it's a good time to shine. Yeah, <laughs> and um, do you have anyone in your family that's ever been in construction? No. Oh, is it? But my mother works for Plumbing for Africa. Oh, yes. So they are a subcontractor. Oh, nice. They work with the plumbing on site and stuff like that. Okay, nice. And you, you already got your network going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a man. Oh, no, that's nice. No, but really, I wish you all the best. Thank you. I think, um, yeah, we must uh, definitely follow up and keep track of your story. And yeah. which university do you want to go to? I want to go to CPT. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. And maybe from there, if I can, apply to UCT. Oh, okay, wonderful. Yes, and go all the way, all the way to the top. Now, yeah. <laughs> now I'm keen to watch your progress, and I'll Enjoy. probably pop in and ask you some more questions along the way. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Zachary. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Zachary, for taking time out of your day to allow me to interview you. I must say I really enjoyed it, and I hope that our listeners enjoyed hearing um, all about Zachary's journey and thoughts and processes um, on the Go for Gold program. If you want to um, learn more about the Go for Gold program, you're welcome to visit our website at www.goforgold.org.za or contact me at Karen, K-A-R-E-N, at goforgold.org.za. I'll be very happy to take your call and we can chat further about how we can transform the education to employment sector in South Africa. Thank you so much and goodbye.